We've all seen the memes, and I think most of us have been there at one time or another, whether that's through forgetting to close the lid, accidentally knocking it over, or just being a general clumsy b****, but it certainly seems like non oil spills are here to stay. That being said, I think I found the perfect tool to help you save as much of your precious null oil as you can when those inevitable spills happen. So let's go and take a look at it. I'm Benji, and welcome to Benji's Hobbies. Before I kick off this video, I want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to the kind folks who support me over on Patreon. Your support means the world to me and means that I can keep working on some cool projects and show them to you here on the channel. A special mention goes to my hobby heroes, Ben, Jamie and Gaetan, who really are being incredibly generous with their support. Now on with the rest of the video. So I was inspired to make this after watching a video by Ollie from Broadsword Wargaming. Whilst he was painting up a mammoth batch of 50 poxwalkers, he managed to knock over not just one pot of wash, but two. And whilst watching him try to clear up the wash with a syringe, I thought there has to be a better and easier way of doing it. Of course, prevention is always better than cure, and there are plenty of holders on the market that can be bought commercially, made at home, or 3D printed to hold your wash pots and stop them from being tipped over but I own one and still forget to use it. So even with these items, spills are still going to happen. And before you start chipping in, suggesting I use bottle washes instead, I mean, I could do that, but I like using the Citadel wash range and I like the pots that they come in. So why change from a product that I already own and enjoy using? So as wash spills are still pretty inevitable, I started thinking about ways to mop up null oil and get it back into the pot still in a usable state. Syringes or pipettes do work, but it's difficult to get those last drops up, meaning that some of it does go to waste and it can be a little bit time consuming. Paper towels are great at soaking up washes and wiping up, but there's no way of getting it back out of the towel easily once it's been mopped up. And then the other day I was putting on my morning makeup and it struck me, makeup sponges might just be the perfect size, shape and consistency for soaking up washes. So in the name of science, I went out and bought a brand new makeup sponge and was prepared to sacrifice my washes for the good of the community. This null oil pot is about half full and as you can see when I spilled it, it made quite a mess on my cutting mat. I used the sponge to mop up the wash and as expected it soaked up pretty quickly and using only one sponge I was able to mop up most of the mess. When it was all soaked in I simply gave the sponge a squeeze and the wash inside the sponge came out and was easily pourable back into my null oil pot. In fact I don't think I lost much at all by doing this and there was only a trace left on my cutting mat. Yes, it is a little bit messy on your hands, but if you're using a pair of gloves, you could keep your hands a good bit cleaner than I did. What's also a nice feature is you can give the sponge a rinse under some warm water once you're finished with it, and it's good as new. So even if you spill another coloured wash, you don't risk contaminating it or changing the colour when you use it again. So there you have it folks, a makeup sponge is a great way of saving every drop of wash if you happen to spill it. You can pick them up super cheap at discount retailers, and I honestly think that it's something that every hobbyist should have in their toolbox for spill emergencies. If you're going to be picking up a precautionary makeup sponge, or if you have any better ways of mopping up spills, then let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.